What's up guys, welcome to Q&A Mondays here on the Metal Roofing Channel, I'm Thad Barnett. Today we're talking about copper metal roofing, which is an iconic metal used for centuries on cathedrals, churches, all over Europe, all over the world. And today to help me out, I've got Josh Spence from Metal Tech Global. Thanks Josh for being here. Yeah, thank you for having me. So tell me a little bit about copper, you know, how has it been used um, over the course of history and then how is it used today? All right, well, as you mentioned, it's been used for roofing applications for centuries. It started in the U.S., uh, dated back into the 1700s, so it's definitely one of the most popular roof applications in the United States. When it comes to the benefits of copper, you know, why would someone want to install a copper roof? I mean, obviously, it's a, you know, a beautiful finish and it patinas over time. Talk to me about the benefits. Longevity. So uh, a copper roof is expected to last uh, dec for decades. Um, another benefit is it's another natural metal. So it has self-healing properties. Uh, it'll form a protective layer, which is known as the patina. Um, it does change in colors. Uh, so a lot of people do appreciate the aesthetics of it. Additionally, it's 100% uh, recyclable. About 75% of all Copper cools utilize uh, recycled scrap. At any point of its lifespan, you can uh, recycle it 100% and put it back out for reuse. Yeah, I mean, that's definitely one of the biggest benefits of metal that we talk about all the time, is that recyclability and sustainability of the product. That's right. Yeah, and, and that's um, this day and age is important, especially for architects and spec writers. So talk to me about the cost. You know, where does copper stack up when it comes to price against other metal roofing materials? Well, especially these days, copper is definitely uh, on the higher end on cost. It's about 40% more that of zinc, um, a little over double of a painted aluminum product. Um, so that can actually fall into some of the cons of a uh, copper roof is uh, availability. Um, for the past couple of years, availability of copper coal is minimal. Uh, it has longer lead times and higher costs. So yeah, when we talk about the cons of you know using a, a copper roof, are there alternatives out there if you know maybe you can't find enough coil or at the right price? You know what what kind of alternatives are there if you still want that look? Yeah, so there's definitely an alternative. There's a new product, uh, which is a cladded copper. It's called Copper Bond. What it is, is a uh, two layers of copper bonded to a stainless steel core. So with that, you definitely get a cost savings, um, shorter lead times, and added benefits are strength, integrity, um, and mainly availability at this time. Yeah. Okay. That's good to know. And where, where can you get a product like that? Well, right now, Metal Tech is set up to be the distributor for it. Uh, CS Tech offers the Copper Bond product, so Metal Tech can supply it. So let's go back to copper for a second. Talk to me about the installation of copper. You know, what special requirements are there for that roofing material? Obviously, on the installation, uh, the installer needs to be trained properly. Um, it's like any other stand and seam roof. Uh, you got to make sure that you seam it properly for a watertight insulation. Don't crack the seams, don't tear the seams, things like that. For uh, pitch requirements, Metal Tech recommends a minimum of 5 8 and 12 pitch for stand and seam, and then for a flat seam, a minimum of 3 and 12 pitch. Uh, additionally, you'll definitely need to use proper uh, high temp iron alignment. And we also like to add in Incomat for a um, better longevity of the roof system. The other thing I've heard about copper is, you know, it's really important to wear gloves when installing. Without a doubt. So fingerprints will be all over your roof. Um, long sleeves is definitely important as well in the summertime so that you don't sweat onto the copper roof. It could definitely uh, cause an aesthetics issue with it. Copper coal doesn't come filmed like most other products. So um, definitely using gloves, uh, soft cotton is preferred. And then that way it just kind of keeps the appearance you're looking for. How does the durability of copper compare to other materials? It's definitely durable, um, without a doubt. That's why it's being used for centuries. That's why they extend the uh, warranties that they do. So it's definitely going to be a high-end, long-lasting roof. 
So what are some other downsides of using copper that we haven't discussed yet? Uh, outside of availability and uh, um, cost, there's not too many additional downsides besides compatibility with other metals. Copper can be uh, corrosive to other metals, so you have to pay attention on your water flow. We've seen steel roofing systems get destroyed by uh, copper gutters um, from the runoff from the copper there. So if you have on any other of those uh, galvanic reactions that could possibly happen from other materials, uh, that's definitely something to watch out for. Definitely. And also one more thing to note is that it doesn't have clean runoff. For instance, concrete is very porous. So if a copper roof is flowing directly onto the concrete um, under underneath, it's going to stain that concrete. So a lot of times people will seal the concrete to prevent any staining. What about maintenance for a copper roof? Uh, the maintenance for a copper roof is pretty standard across the board. Uh, you just want to keep it free of debris and have normal rent cycles. I would say one thing we haven't discussed yet is how copper patinas over time. It really depends on the environment of you know what that copper will look like. You know, not all copper gets that deep green color. Is that correct? That is correct. Uh, a lot of times you'll just see a brown copper roof, um, especially in the southeast of the U.S., uh, mainly just turns brown. When you get closer to the coastal environments, you will see more of a, a green patina. Um, it will never stay the bright and shiny. So that for a lot of residentials, they want the copper roof for the initial aesthetics. If they're not wanting the patinaed look to it, I highly recommend sticking to a painted aluminum option um, that can provide a metallic finish to match copper. All right, Josh, well, thanks so much for sharing about copper roofing today. If you have any questions, please comment down below. I'd love to answer them. Subscribe here to the Metal Roofing Channel. As always, I'm Thad Barnett, and we'll catch you next time.